yo my friends welcome back to another review video i'm currently sitting on the rope glide from holly davidson and before i even start telling you how it feels to ride her as just a five foot three short woman let's switch to cassidy and let him explain a little bit more about the rope glide right here Windshield, a little bit taller with a lip on it. Good for guys that are about six feet tall. If you're shorter, you might be looking through it. You might have to put a shorter one on for you. <laughs> so the big advantage to the road glide that I personally love is that it has a triple vent system. So actually, if you look through here, there's one, two, and three vents. So again, the wind's coming through, comes through this vent, gets kicked up. It'll create a curtain of wind and up and over your head. Same thing with these vents. It'll blow up and around your head. It gets rid of all the buffeting. It'll allow you to main, sit on the highway comfortably without any wind, turbulence, buffeting. It's absolutely incredible. I also like the glove compartments. Okay, they're super freaking handy. That's nice, because I take my phone, my wallet out of my pocket. There's a cigarette lighter there. If you need to charge another device or have a dart. Uh, on this side, you have your USB port to plug your phone in. Well, what look at that. That would be perfect for all GoPro battery chargers. <laughs> it's, it's great. Yeah, yeah. Charge, exactly. Charge your devices. When I plug my phone, my Android into this bike, into the phone, the entire infotainment system does change from the factory infotainment system to my Android Auto. So I'll have my Spotify, I'll have my Google Maps. It works even better. You can't keep up today with cell phones. They're advanced, they're the best of the best. So my cell phone will actually project on the screen. If you have an Apple, it'll have the Apple CarPlay. Uh, take a little bit of time too, in, tw in 2020, Harley Davidson came out with the RDRS system, which is usually the traction control button that is here. When you buy a standard model with the 107 motor, the RDRS is an option. Uh, we don't really have control of which ones come over the border. Half will have it, half won't. If you buy the special, it will have the RDRS system. It stands for Reflex Defensive Riding System. There's five aspects of traction control that is out there to save your butt if there's adverse uh, riding conditions slippery pavement, sand, slime, whatever you run into out there when you're touring. So those five aspects are, if you're going fast and you're diving into a tight corner and you're in a lean angle, there is an, an IMU, an inertia measurement unit that senses your lean angle and will make the ABS and your downshifting more smooth. Meaning if you downshift too hard, you let go of the clutch and you dive into second, it won't let that back tire chirp and lose traction and won't get tire hot. If you're coming out of the corner and you throttle too hard, it'll allow a little bit of tire spin, but not too much, where the bike fishtails and you end up sliding out of control. It has a hill assist, which is really nice. You're climbing up an incline, you come to a stop, you can squeeze the front or the rear brake, let go, and the bike won't roll backwards. Very nice with the heavier touring bike. You don't have to balance it with one foot on the back brake, especially if you have a passenger wiggling and fidgeting around. It's really nice, you can just 
weight there. And then once you once you start going yeah, again, the brakes will release, traction control is there so you don't spin, and away you go. And more importantly too, uh, lots of value is that there's tire pressure monitoring system. So TPMS is live on your screen. It'll tell your front and rear tire pressure so you don't have to crawl down on your hands and knees and get your outfit dirty. And it'll last, make your tires last longer. If you have the right PSI, you'll get a lot longer life out of your tires. All right. We ate our food. Just a quick stop by stop because it's already 1.30 we were starving. And now I'm already on the rock light. Oh, that's weird. Let's do it! Here we go! Okay, that is a lot different. seen the, the last video where I was talking about the street flight the biggest difference here to this guy now is for sure that the fairing is actually mounted to the frame and the fairing is not changing with your forks and everything so especially on slower speeds that is so weird it's just like not nothing that I'm used to whatsoever on some A levels As mentioned before, the handlebars are a little bit higher. So I can definitely feel it in the shoulders, but it's still very comfortable. I said so nice upright. And the floorboards are positioned perfectly. I'm already going 120. You can't even feel it. Okay, that's effortless. Holy moly. Just going higher speeds on the baggers. Not a big deal whatsoever. Just the wind positioning is pretty good actually. I can feel I can barely feel any wind in my my chest and head area. Just like the legs again, of course. Okay, guys, it just freaks me out that the fairy doesn't move with with like with your bike. It's so so weird, but I like it actually. I think that's something definitely you could get used to. Oh my god guys, look at that Kamak like it would like holy look at how blue they are. As soon as I take my arms out I can feel actually how much wind there is. But just riding here right now behind my safe little windshield, like nothing. Nothing. Just because I'm a little bit shorter. I think the handlebars are a tiny bit too high, just, just by hair. So we will be super comfortable throughout quite a few hours of riding. And the windshield is a little tiny bit too tall. I just have it like halfway in my face. And that was Eddie on a street light. <laughs> if you haven't seen the street light video yet, I will hopefully remember to like put the car up there in the corner so you can check it out. Oh, they're so much fun. They're so comfortable. Honestly, the seat here also on the road glide, it feels like a freaking marshmallow. So like so comfy. Oh, and when it, of course you can test right Harley's like that with a view like that. What the what else do you need? Oh, so turquoise, so beautiful. Yeah, like I'm five foot three, and 
you should think like with my shortness and height I should have trouble riding bigger bikes like that no not really like like I mentioned before the floorboards are actually perfectly positioned and because there are floorboards on the, and not foot packs I can actually shift my my feet around as I want to I'm not sure if you can still see it just on the view there and the controls also so like the clutch uh, not the clutch the shift lever there and the foot brake they are like about mid forward I'd say so for the slim I definitely have to reach further so that's actually a little bit more comfortable but if this rope guide here specifically would be my bike I would have to bring the handle bar a little bit further towards me I'm leaning a little bit a, a tiny hair too much forward like we're talking literally just like about an inch or such that's that's all I would need Oh, look at this water I just want to dive in but it's like a, it's September 25th right now so at the end of September in the Okanagan and you can see Annie's actually riding in this t-shirt it's still so warm like today is a perfect day to test ride Harleys you're actually getting pretty pretty quickly used to like the fact that the fairing just staying there oh hey <laughs> me honestly we're going like over 100 clicks right now and you can barely feel it okay let's try the radio again show you really the footage of like how good the audio is because YouTube will give me a big big copyright claim <laughs> but let me tell you having a ready system like that on your motorcycle especially on longer trips would be game changing just like cruising there enjoying the view but still have music and a little bit of entertainment so you're not just alone with your thoughts which don't get me wrong still could be pretty awesome and is awesome A short female is looking into buying beggars but everybody tells you oh no they're too big for females like you cannot ride it as a woman screw them like honestly riding the road glide here is no problem whatsoever the street climb was no problem whatsoever you're getting used to anything just practice but if you're planning on going on longer trips I can hands down see the value of those guys oh and the suspension by the way so smooth and I can flat foot here like no problem I mean I have to lift up or like scooch forward a little bit but like that's no problem youtuber I am we took a couple of thumbnail pictures to make sure we have a proper picture to go with this video okay they're handling curves actually pretty good Oh, I like it. I like the rope flight. It's awesome. Let me actually know down in the comments below if you ever rode the rope flight yourself too and how you like it. And if that's something you will be looking to purchasing or not. Or just are interested in actually buying. 
And while you're down there commenting, also consider giving this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any other review videos. And turn on the bell notification so you know the moment when it's going online. Oh, okay, that's so much fun. <laughs> oh, that is a lot of fun. Honestly, guys, I can just encourage you to like go to your dealership that is the closest to you and test ride them because you don't know until you know. Anyways, until the next video, I hope you guys have tons of fun out there and riding safe. And then we will see each other in the next week's video. <laughs> see you then. Bye bye.